UWB Malaysia, they provide sustainable solutions to communities. Um, in third world and developing countries, EWB Malaysia um, allows working professionals to provide their skills to contributing to communities and also improving lives. It addresses the softer side of what we do. Um, it's pulling people together. Uh, it, it's it's adding, adding value by uh, establishing a, te a team approach. We, we, we put in a lot of free time and it pulls people together outside the work environment, so it's very beneficial overall. On the work front, you're working with all these people from different teams and different uh, capacities uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and then you come into this room at least once a week and you meet and you, you all have a common goal. Uh, you, none of you have any vested interest in this common goal except for to give back to the local community. I think it's, it's made people more familiar with each other across the borders of the different companies and it just makes it easier for you to work with somebody else when you do something like this uh, together as a group. Yeah, after so hard, you know, working to fundraise all these things with a lot of activities going for months and months, finally we reached the target of getting all this money. We had several fundraisers, so we started off by, we, we raised funds by selling chocolates, we sold breakfasts, we have a sticker sale that we're going to do eventually, we had a breakfast charity fundraising dinner which was our final uh, final event and we raised approximately 40,000 US dollars from from all of the events um, and what was most inspirational was the commitment from the team to make sure all these events were done successfully and that we raised the $40,000 that we needed to build this hydrotherapy pool. We have all kinds of uh uh, disabled, uh, physically challenged people who need to be taken care of very well. This pool is uh, small in size, which is uh, speci specifically built to cater for small children who have cerebral palsy. They become weightless so that we can move their limbs around easily. We have to start young, otherwise their muscles will get dystrophic. The client can be relaxed and uh, at the same time we are able to perform various kinds of exercises and when you see them they are much much more relaxed and the exercises they perform are much more easier in the swimming pool rather than in, in the physiotherapy center. This is Zafira, she is 17 years old. She has been with us for the past uh, 12 years. She has cerebral palsy and uh, she needs a lot of physiotherapy exercises here. All the exercises can be done in the pool uh, which will be easier for her uh, since uh, it is uh, stressful when she does it on the floor but in the pool it will be more relaxing and fun for her. It will be a new thing for her. She will look forward to uh, coming to the centre so we are looking forward to the new pool. The Engineers Without Borders helped me to design this pool. They are very, very fantastic people, very dynamic and I always give my thumbs up for them.